Hello everybody, Advanced 64 here. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we made it to this route right here, Route 119. In this episode, we're going to... Well, we're going to continue up this route. Uh, if you remember, we left off the Wetter Institute, but I wanted to go back because I said I would show off this little part right here. Now, if you sh uh, change your bike from the mock bike to the acro bike, uh, really cool when you just switch out the bike. Um, it doesn't, uh, deselect it, and it uh, just puts it in the same place where the mock bike was if you had the other bike. But you can just do this. It's really cool. It's a little hard to do, because you have to, like, press it at the same time. As you can see, I might just, like, do, like, a wheelie here. But if you press it at the same time, you can just do this. And it's really neat. It, uh, we gotta see what's over here before I just keep huffing around and just keep forgetting about it. Well, there's something over there, but... Oh, I guess it's just, just two secret bases. So there's a cave one right over here, and then there's this. I don't think I showed off the bush one, though. Um, is there any hidden items? Not that I can see. So how about we show off this little secret base real quick? Uh, um, I don't think it matters where exactly you uh, make it. Uh, I believe this whole uh, part of the bench, uh, the bush, there's it's like three tiles across. You can just make like an entrance anywhere. But there we go, we entered us. And this isn't a, little, uh, a pretty bad, bad place at all. Uh, of course, I'm just going to make it a temporary one because, of course, I can't put up anything yet. Of course, I'm going to be able to change that soon. So, um, if I stop saying, of course, we'll be able to get more t uh, things. I normally just need a table in order to put something down. It's a little weird that I need to have that because I have like, like 15 dolls, I feel like. But it won't let me do that. But it's really cool. I think there's... In total, uh, four different things that you can make a, a secret base out of, but it might just be free. I'm just trying, uh, saying four because I'm thinking I might be forgetting one. I know there's, um, the trees, the bushes, and then the caves, but I can't think of another one. Um, so I'm more just saying that to, um, kind of just uh, save my butt just in case that there is another one, but there probably is just free. Oh, there we go. I never thought I was going to be able to find this guy just right off the bat, um, but uh, if you remember in the other episode, we fought Atropius, and I didn't say it right off the bat, but uh, you can indeed find them on this route. This guy survives, I might actually- ooh, yeah! I, I might as well uh, try getting this dude a shot, try and see if I can catch him. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't even know if I have any good Pokeballs, and I'm a little worried, because that critical hit did a lot of damage, and I do not want to take another one of those. So how about we go for an Ultra Ball here? Um, for some reason in Pokemon Emerald, I always feel like Ultra Balls aren't always as good as they are cracked up to be in the other games, though. And, okay, thankfully it worked there. Uh, for some reason, I always, uh, when I was younger, I always used Great Balls to catch, like, even the, like, the Legendaries, because I found they had, like, better times, but... Tropius is the fruit Pokemon. It's quite heavy. It flies by flapping its broad leaves. Uh, the fruit that grows around its neck is uh, deliciously sweet. In the spring, it scatters its pollen from its neck. What, from the bananas? Like, is it a pollen snack, or is it, like, an actual, like, fruit? But, alright. I'm, uh, not too creative right now, so how about we're just gonna call you Banana? There we go. Just because you got some bananas on your, uh, face. There we go. We got banana uh, on uh, in the party as well. Well, not even in the party, more in the PC. If you remember, we used this way to get up here before, but we can't build enough speed because we're on the acro bike. So this go uh, going up this way is entirely impossible now. So we have to go over this way, and there's actually some more trainers over here. So that's why I actually decided to start back all the way over there. So even though I had the acro bike, unless I went to go back to switch back the uh, mock bike, I would have no choice but to fight someone. Ooh. Uh, I can't even run away from this little zigzagoon right here, and he's gonna hit me with pin missile probably five times just to take up my time. Nope. All right, how about we just uh, we can take this guy out with probably a strength, but it's just a zigzagoon. Yep, there we go. All right, very nice. I don't know who we have in our second uh, party slot because if I remember correctly, this is actually a double battle. I can't see above this guy. Is that another Tropius? All right, very cool. Um. You know what, I'm gonna go for it. Uh, go for a rock tomb right here. Why not? Uh, this uh, is gonna drop its speed, and I can just uh, take him out with a strength right here. I'm just, did I actually outspeed the Tropius right off the bat? Didn't even need the speed drop, that was really cool. Um, that did give a good amount of experience. Um, but I do not want Rex out in front of her that much damage. Um, we haven't really showed off Gara recently, so how about we have Gara in front? And yeah, we'll have Jam. 
That sounds good to me. And oop, we got this guy right here, and that rock seems a little suspicious. Oh, I like kid traders. Let's have a good one. I don't like you. Uh, if you're not on your guard, you're in for some pain. Yeah, I wouldn't hang around this guy, little kid. I like kid trainers, and he's just got flames. Yeah, this guy's scary. I don't. Want, I wouldn't want this dude to just run up to me with like two like torches in hand. That would scare me, honestly. I would not want to deal with that. Um, let's get sand tomb on the slugma, and we'll take out the ninjask. It is gonna be faster, but I'd rather just like uh, do a good amount of damage on it. And okay, that's not bad at all. Um, I could go for surf just to take out the slugma as well. I'm um, not entirely sure, but oop, we're gonna get hit by Ember, and luckily we did not get burned there. That's very nice. Um, that would have uh, hurt our s attack there, but all right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go bite the Ninjask, and we'll go for Surf, and this should take out both of those guys. Um, I was a little worried about doing Surf because. Uh, I keep playing uh, Pokemon games on the side too, and if it's not the, uh, uh, the third generation where uh, du uh, double battles first happen, Surf will hit the Pokemon next to you. And if I did hit my uh, other guy using Surf, uh, like if Gara got hit by my Surf from Jam, uh, no way was Gara going to survive that. Uh, Gara does not have good special defense. So uh, I do not want I did not want that to happen. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that. Um, might actually just go for the same thing. I'm just gonna go fight the coughing instead and go for a surf. It should take out the nin uh, the numble. I was gonna say ninjask again. That was the last guy. But numble's no problem. That four times uh, surf. No way I was gonna survive that. And that did a good amount of damage on coughing. I just gotta hope this bite is enough to take it down. Might get poisoned here. Yep. Alright, uh, I, uh, I know I shouldn't jinx it, but uh, I knew it was pro uh, coming. Alright, I can totally heal this, uh, but I am close to a place where I can heal. But, uh, you're pretty amazing, ho ho. Uh, you're surprisingly good. Uh, granted, the poison uh, sound effect is a little annoying, but I don't know if I really even showed that off. I'm gonna show it off for just a small second while I go from here, because it's a bad idea where I can get hit by a Pokemon and fight this guy. But yes, I probably just lost like two health there. But we can have Gara take out this Zigzagoon real quick, uh, even though his <laughs> Gara is poison. Gara is probably hating my entire life at this moment. And oh, of course, it's just using sand attack! Okay, that was a really good strat from the Zigzagoon, just like, nope, I'm just not gonna let you hit me. Um, do I have any- why am I not going to the barrier? Okay, there we go. I think I accidentally double tapped when I got to the barrier thing. There we go. Uh, though, I am a little worried because Gara it doesn't have a lot of health. Um, yep, we made it through, okay. We're good, we just have to avoid the grass. Of course, I could always just get on my bike because I can't do anything there. Now we can finally check out the Weather Institute. Let's go through here. And, ooh, it's playing weird music and there's guys here. But I could just deal with these guys real quick. But, uh, uh, this bed looks really comfy. I think I'm actually going to uh, take a rest. There we go. Just sleep while there's probably a hostage situation going on. What's going on, little kid? While I was sleeping, everyone went upstairs. Uh, if I just went over there, no one's there anymore. I just let them take whatever was in here. Uh, it's nice that there's a PC here. Even if you're uh, not using the bed to heal, you can just totally just put your Pokemon here. Um, here's a couple of the other Pokemon I've been ca uh, catching. And then I'm getting uh, the banana there. And Lenny, of course, and I don't know if I showed off the Grimer, but I did end up getting a Grimer in Fiery Path. It just, uh, it was weird. I just found it when I was training. I don't know what's a kid doing here. Alright, we got, uh, Team Aqua right here. I don't think uh, we've fought them for a little bit. I think the last guys we fought was Team Madma, uh, Mount Chimney, yeah. But these guys might show up a little bit more. Um, now that I think about it, I probably should have changed up my Pokemon. Not that Carvana, so you usually have a lot of good water moves. I just don't really want to get hit by a water move, but, um, maybe we'll do okay. We'll just get it with Rock Smash. Wow, we almost took it out with a Rock Smash. Okay, granted we're higher level, but still. And, okay, we're getting hit by Rough Skin there. Um, you know what? Uh, since Gara's being a boss here, I might actually just keep it out front. Yeah, I know it's Team Aqua and all, and it's probably not the best idea in the world. But, yep, we got the Carvana out of the way. And, uh, of course, I think, uh, Rough Skin always hurts a certain amount 
um, whenever you hit a Pokemon. Um, the main thing that you should watch out for, if you have a uh, move like Fury Swipes and it hits like five times, you're going to get hit by Roughskin five times. Um, so that's something to definitely watch out for. It's definitely a tactic that um, people have used uh, combined with like um, certain items that were added later that have the same effect and other abilities that have the same effect. Like there's this one Pokemon nowadays called Frost Seed. Um, uh, well, it's Evolution for Rockborn. It's a grass and steel type Pokemon um, that has an ability called Iron Bars, which is basically just uh, rough skin. Just every time you t uh, make contact with the Pokemon, so basically hit it with a physical move, um, you're going to get hit back a little bit back to you. Uh, so that's not great. Uh, but uh, if you repair that with uh, something called the Rock uh, Rocky Helmet, which uh, will give it. Uh, will do that to any Pokemon, even if they don't have the ability, they'll actually stack with the ability. So as long as you keep hitting uh, that dude, like, over and over again, you're gonna actually get, uh, get hurt quite a bit. Uh, so, uh, it's a really nasty strategy when paired together. It's, you can actually, uh, really break apart certain Pokemon, like, um, uh, Pokemon, like I said, that use Fury Swipes. Just, if you get hit, uh, five times and you just get hit by, uh, just that overall, I've I've actually had my Pokemon entirely faint from just being at, like, half health uh, from uh, just doing that. So it's definitely something you would want to watch out for. Luckily, it's not too bad in this, because Rough Skin is going to hurt, but it's probably not going to hurt you t too bad at, like, unless you have those moves. And luckily, um, I think the only one of those moves I have right now is Bullet Seed, and I don't even think that makes contact with Pokemon, so I'm probably okay with that. Uh, um, it's just going to do a little bit of damage on the top, so I just gotta watch out for that. We got another double battle out here, so it's gonna be Jim and Gara once again. Um, I think I'm gonna go for... Uh, let's just get that Zubat out of the way. Um, of course, I could just go for a Surf, but I like using the Fake Out, uh, since while I have it, I'm probably not even gonna have it for a while. Oh, yep, I forgot that it even has uh, uh, its ability that won't let it flinch. Okay. So, I, we might be able to take out the Zubat, but I'm a little worried that we won't, but just a hair. Okay, we did. That's good. Uh, we'll probably focus the Poochiana next, depending on what's coming out. Level 33 on Gara, that's really nice. Ooh, we're learning Crunch? That's awesome. I'm gonna take Crunch for yes. Okay, so Crunch is basically better bite. Uh, it, it, instead of flinching, it will actually have a chance of blowing special defense, which, it, um... Sounds bad at first, because, like, why does it need to lower special defense? It's a physical move, but in this uh, game, for some reason, Bite and Crunch, uh, since they're Dark-type uh, moves in just generation, they're all special-type moves. So, yes, it's cons even though you're biting down on a person, it's considered a special attack, uh, and not physical for some reason. Uh, it's super weird, but... Let's see how the Surf does, and okay, that basically almost took out both Poochianas. Someone's getting swaggered here, it's jam, okay. Gotta watch out for that, uh, cause getting hit by a, a confusion after a swagger can really hurt. Uh, let's, uh, but we got Poochie, this Poochiana out of the way. I think this means it's just going to be a two on one battle, which definitely helps because one, oh, we're both swaggered now, okay. Um, I was going to say because we're, uh, Gara wasn't swaggered, but, well, that's not exactly a thing now. Um, let's go for Bullet Seed here, and we just gotta hope. Um, okay, we're going for Bullet Seed, and we will hit the next Pokemon with Rock Smash, and luckily it was only just needed to hit one time. Um, of course, eh, Bullet Seed always hits at least two, so that's good. Um. Got a Carvana coming out. Uh, oh, okay, so Rock Smash is super effective against it. But is Gara gonna do it? Gara's gonna do it! Okay, Gara's gonna hit uh, with Rock Smash. Oh my god, that one shot the Carvana! Okay, that's nice. Okay. Granted, I probably leveled up s too much from um, the uh, gym. Uh, for the gym. Uh, the fifth gym, I should say. I also went through uh, uh, those entire water routes, so, so these guys are definitely a lot weaker uh, to me right now. And let's get this guy out of the way too. Uh, Gara's doing super awesome, so we can still have Gara out in front. Might switch it up for that last person up there though. 
like, let's see what we got with this, uh, depending on how Gara does, because this is free Pokemon. But we've got they. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go for another Rock Smash. I'm surprised that Rock Smash is actually doing so much here. Uh, granted, it's not, uh, not always one-shotting, but... Oh, right, I gotta remember, I was actually, I actually had Swagger on me that other time, so that's like having a Swords Dance on your Pokemon. So, my attack was doubled. Um, there we go. Getting hit by Bite. Just gotta hope I can hit the Poochiana. Yes! Alright, that was perfect. Good, but we just gotta do that with, like, three other Pokemon. I mean, two other Pokemon. Alright, uh, let's see. We got the Zubat coming out. Uh, um, unfortunately, I'm not getting a Swagger boost from a Crunch here. But, uh, if I do get hit myself, that will definitely, uh, get a boost, because I think that's the physical thing when you hit yourself with confusion. Am I flinching just regardless? Just uh, the whole time? Okay, is this gonna take out Gara? Okay, it's not. Oh, no! Come on, I was hoping that got rid of my confusion. Okay, okay. We're getting crunched, though. Okay, crunch goes off. That got Zubat out of the way. Okay. Um, oh boy, I'm really worried. Gara's on, like, thin ice. You know what? I'm gonna heal him up, and I'm gonna keep him in. Uh, let's see. Gotta heal real quick. Good. Um, what do I got on... Okay, I do got a soda pop. That should be good enough. Uh, this should... Yep, uh, got that beeping out of the way, too. And we're getting hit by a crunch back. That's not wonderful. Okay, that did a good amount of damage. I should watch out for that. Okay, just going for scary face. We're slower than you anyway, so that doesn't entirely matter. The main thing that matters is if we're gonna snap out of confusion or not. Okay, so now we're just rolling a dice here. Oh my god, Gara's doing awesome! We have not hit ourselves with confusion at all. Even in the last fight when we got swagger. Okay, very cool. I really gotta hand it to Gara, that was awesome. Uh, handled this entire place like a champ. Alright, uh... So, you got me. Yes, I did. Uh, give me $500. Alright, I'm uh, gonna go... Uh, change up my Pokemon real quick, though. Um, yeah, let's have Roshi up in front for this. I didn't really show off Roshi in Route one, uh, 19, mainly because of, of, its rain would have, like, uh, debuffed it. Aha, uh, uh -huh, you're, meddling, you're going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs. You're either absolutely fearless or simply ignorant, or both. <laughs> I just messed that up. You're so cute. You're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. Alright, uh, I messed that entire thing up, but, uh, we can go ahead and just fight Shelly here. Shelly, uh, only has two Pokemon, but, uh, they are, uh, relatively higher re level than, uh, the other Pokemon, I mean, that the other guys had. But then again, I feel like the first guy I had uh, at a level 28, uh, Carvana, if I remember correctly. Uh, I just remember the last guy having, like, a level 27 one, so, uh... I guess having a level one higher Pokemon is enough to make you an admin. But we got another Pokemon coming out for this. We got a Mighty Anna out here, so uh, it was actually smart enough to let the Poochiana evolve. You know, Poochiana actually evolves at level 18, so 10 levels ago. And so all of these uh, grunts could have totally had a Mighty Anna by now. But no, only this admin's allowed to have this Mighty Anna. Granted, is mighty and can stink because of the swaggers, but you can say the same thing about the Puchianas, because they can do it too. So now I just gotta hope- Oh no, where she's hitting himself! Okay, that's not great. Uh, and, okay, that wasn't, uh, bad damage, but I don't like hitting myself there, and I could possibly just flinch here. If I'm not flinching, I could just- Okay, let's see. Flamethrower, here we go. Oh, is that enough to take out the mighty Anna? It's not? Dang, that's crazy. Okay, so we're getting hit by Bite, uh, and we flinched. That's not wonderful. We're gonna go for another Body Slam. Uh, happy that- uh, I forgot that I even healed up when I first got into this place because of that, uh, bed down there. Oh, uh, luckily we snapped out of confusion, hit with Mighty Anna right there. That was perfect. And, ooh, level 35. Awesome. 
so we're doing really good. A lot of our Pokemon are really well blended. Haha, <laughs> you're disgustingly strong. Haha, <laughs> you like the word disgusting. It's bad enough to have uh, Team Magma Bluffing her around, but not as you. What makes you want to sniff around in our business anyway? Oh, dude, dude coming in. We have a situation here. Team Magma Mob just passed the Water Institute. They're uh, uh, heading for Mount Pyre. How'd they get past you? What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. <laughs> Team Magma, just you wait. There you go. Hey, thanks to you, we're safe. It might be an odd way of thanking you, but take this Pokemon. And we received the cast form. I uh, was surprised. I thought we had to make room for this Pokemon, but we do not. Um, so we just immediately get this other Pokemon, and this is cast form. Cast form is a very gimmicky Pokemon. It actually changes form depending on what, uh, the water type it actually is actually out at the moment, and it'll actually change its type as well. It's pretty neat. I can't think of too many names for it at the moment, so I'm just gonna uh, be boring once again. I'm just gonna go for Full Arm Cast. Uh, there we go. We got a uh, Cast Form into the PC, and that Pokemon changes shape according to the weather conditions. There's plenty of them in the Institute. Go ahead and take them. Um, the only problem I'd say about uh, Cast Form is that it's not really good at getting water out itself, and it's just, it's just overall really weak. If it had better moves, it had better, uh, just everything, then it would be a really cool Pokemon, and it can't even change its form in Sandstorm. Oh, I just, uh, just took a nap twice. Okay, very good, I'm really well rested now. There we go. You know that feel when you wake up and you just fall back asleep. Um, normally I would end off right here, but I do want to show off a little bit more of this route. Um, I'm actually gonna have Rex back out in front, because Rex was doing, uh, really good with that. Let's see, what, uh, let's move on up here, here. We're getting stopped, uh, and if you remember that music, and this person, Peter, where are you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready with your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go! So yeah, when you leave the Wetter Institute, it's always important to remember to heal your Pokemon, because you will be fighting your rival here, and starting off with Pelimer, okay. Maybe Rex wasn't the best start, but I did remember it was going to be a flying type out in front. So, oh, just going for the protects instead. That's a okay. I'm just gonna see what I can do with Rock Tomb. It's actually just gonna protect Rock Tomb. Um, <laughs> it just forgot to use protect. But alright, well, I'm just gonna hit it with Rock Tomb here. Let's see. It's gonna slow it down too. Not that that matters with protect, because protect will always just let you move first. But uh, luckily, we got that Pokemon speed lowered for if it's not using protect, and it did not do it. Luckily, just get that dude out uh, right of the way. Uh, right out of the way. Alright, uh, so, might actually keep out Rex, depending on what it is. It's Buskin. Alright, so this is actually dangerous waters here, because this dude is a fire type. Uh, I mean, not even a fire, uh, not even just a fire type, a fighting type, and that's four times effective against Rex, and I just missed the rock tomb. Oh no, I was really hoping I could just get back and, and double kick. How much is that doing? 30 per hit. Okay, that's not great. Even more with that one. Okay. I did not like that, but we moved faster as Rex. I don't know why we're so fast. Uh, but, uh, I know we're outspeeding it, but uh, uh, normally, I mean, Aeron was really slow is the thing. And just going for bulk up. I mean, it is going to uh, survive another rock tune because of that, but if it just goes for another bulk up, I can just straight take it out with just Rex. Or I can just miss, you know, that too. I'm um, just gonna go for a double kick and gotta watch out because a bulk up uh, bus can definitely hurt. But I do have a Pokemon with Surf, so luckily, not entirely a uh, whole problem. Although, uh, Jam isn't the fastest thing in the world, I'll admit. Uh, just gonna see if I can get a little bit more damage off. Uh, and we'll go for the Surf. Oh wow, we did outspeed the Buskin. I don't know what's up with the Buskin, it's so slow. Alright, uh, Got this guy out of the way, though. That was the main thing I was definitely worried about in this fight. Uh, and we got the level 37. Does that make Jam our strongest Pokemon? Are we... Jam is trying to actually learn Thief? I forgot that Lombre's even learned Thief, because normally by now I've already evolved this Pokemon. But, uh, alright, uh, just, uh, we're gonna stop learning Thief, because we already have learned that before, and it didn't really help us. Uh, um... Getting out another Lombre, how about we just do the Battle of the Lombres? And, uh, unfortunately for you, 
I got my Lumbry a little bit decked out, uh, thanks to that lake for a while. I mean, nature power is cool and all, but it's got its uh, downsides, honestly. There we go. Ah, you, Peter, you're strong. I was worried that you, uh, might be struggling with your training. Honestly, I probably, uh, have been struggling to the point that I've been doing it too much. I'd probably have been way too strong. I probably just need to, to fight the next gym right off the bat. Hey, but, hey, uh, but, oh, I, I read that wrong. But I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Uh, keep it up. Uh, and here, I have a present for you. Uh, okay, I guess uh, they just expect you to uh, uh, read the whole thing from there. Um, some, honestly, I always just kind of skip that. You supply to uh, carry your Pokemon there. Oh, I didn't realize you got the uh, HM02, uh, and we can't fly unless we beat the gym. I kind of just skipped that entire thing. Um, oh, uh, but, uh, of course, while I, uh, while I was skipping that entire thing, sunglasses had, a guy had to appear. Haha, <laughs> way to go, Peter. I just passed by a trainer riding on a bike. You just uh, beat that trainer, didn't you? It's pretty obvious that you did. That kid pretty, oh, looked really upset with all, oh, uh, red, uh, with a face all red from anger. I, I sure seem to run into you often. Are you after the four training gym next? I expect that you'll do well at the gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. And there goes, uh, Sunglasses Man. But, you know, we, wow, okay. This episode did drag out a little bit. I'm not too surprised. We did have to do quite a bit. Uh, we got this little thing right here. And, of course, uh, if you remember, uh, this is more tiles for, uh, to fish this v mess and if you ever wanted to attempt that. Uh, which, of course, I don't think I'm ever gonna try to do that. But, I think, uh, I do, uh, think this is enough for this episode. Thank you very much for watching this episode. In the next one, we're gonna get, uh, move on to the next uh, city and take on that gym. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys in that next episode. Thank you again.